I feel like that gets lost a lot on people's minds is that they look at the LeBron move to Miami as like he's the one who really broke this like uh the way that player that yeah literally well, and, you know because what, what they said oh, Jeff, i look in, at boston the, like they did it they always they always say what boston was they were older they were in they were getting older but it's like those guys at the point in 2008 when they got together they were still elite they were still oh, i can't wait you know at the, top, at the they were still they were still at the top of their positions it, like, it, I, I, I would i would say they were all top five in their positions or close to it maybe seven i'm, I'm not sure in Br- but the that way was that, still a major move. The way that they were playing, it wasn't like they were playing at like like they're in wheelchairs. Like, bro, they could still compete. That's and, it, and I was that's, a fan of it. I was a no, fan. They, of they it. were still great. It's like once LeBron beat them in 2012, then I think like they were just older at that point. But the times when they played 08 all the way to like 2010, right like, when they I, first were formed, yeah, they were still great. I know KG had the torn meniscus in 09, but the two times they went to the finals, they were a great team, and people still called them a super team. Bro, look look at the Spurs. The Spurs, when they got older, were still a force to be reckoned with. So, like, I, want, I just want to say this real quick about the Celtics is that the main difference. Well, I actually agree with you on um, everything you said about the Celtics. They were still in their prime. I just think it was like towards the end of their prime. But the thing about LeBron and and and, and Wade and Bosch, they came in at the same draft during the same draft, and they were in their prime in their twenties. But see, this is this is the question I have for that Celtics team, bro. You know that that whole narrative is that. If that team was so overpowered, right, and LeBron didn't have enough to beat that team, why did he lose to Orlando in 09 then when he didn't have to play the Celtics? <laughs> what? Why did LeBron James lose to the Orlando Magic in 2009 when he didn't even have to play the Celtics? Remember, KG got hurt, so he yeah. didn't have to play the Celtics that year. He had to play Orlando. 08, you 09, answer, or 09, You just 09, answered 10. your own question. 08, 09. <clears throat> you answered your own question because KG got hurt. Oh, JJ no, Hicks. Why did he? Why didn't LeBron beat the Magic? Because look, Booby KG Gibson, got hurt, so that was Sasha to follow, Pavlovich. Right? Oh shit! If that, Wally Zerbiak. KG, Damn, so, how they so lose? So I'm assuming that if KG don't get hurt, then they beat Bron. So no, I'm saying KG got hurt that that season, bro. And LeBron yeah. didn't have to play the Celtics in the playoffs. So what's the problem now? I'm a little confused as to how well, this that, has to do I guess that means with... Orlando was better than Bron too. I, I think Orlando Magic uh, was a be- I think the Orlando Magic was a better team than. Uh, hold on, but the thing is, Jimmy Nelson got hurt and he didn't play the whole series. I know, but they still have Rashard. They still have Rashard Lewis, Hedo Turkoglu, who was great. Uh, Allison off the bench was pretty nice. I think but, hold started, on, but I think isn't LeBron the best Allison. player in the league? LeBron was better than Dwight Howard. LeBron was better than Dwight yeah, Howard. Was better than and he had surrounding pieces. Around him. He had all those shooters around the, him. The surrounding pieces. Who? No, 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 no. Time out, time out, time out. Hold on, hold on. Because we can't talk about the three point shooting. Mo Williams was forty three percent from the three. He dropped fourteen hundred. He dropped forty. He dropped fourteen hundred points that season. He was an all star. Okay, one. Daniel you know Gibson what he did? In that, Daniel Gibson you know was thirty nine percent from the three. Okay, two. You know what he did in that who else did he have? Wally Zerbiak. Do you know what uh, he did in that series? He had Ilgauskas in the paint. Do you know he what he did in that series? Mo Williams averaged more points. Mo Williams averaged more points against the Magic, though, than he averaged during the season. Now, he shot 37 from three, and he shot 37 from the field goal. Okay, okay. That's not good. Okay, but that's one person. What about everybody else? They, everybody they, else. Daniel Gibson? Daniel Gibson was only had three points in that series. No, so no, 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 Gibson is not. Gibson right, shouldn't cool. even be in this I'll conversation. Pull I'll pull it up, bro. You can pull it up. You can pull it up. Dude, I, mean, I, just, I don't get why. Why, does, why, does, why does why does this matter? Like, it doesn't. Well, I, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't know how we got I'm here because saying, I was, Orlando was Orlando was a better team. Orlando's team was better. Saying. No, listen. I see what y'all saying, but all I'm saying is the goalpost is now moved from the Celtics to the Magic. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yo, yo, yo. Stop, stop, stop. Hold on. Stop, stop, stop. The, I don't even know how we got to there because I this initially started with me saying where was the shift because I thought it was Boston. People say it was the Heat. How are we going back in time to when LeBron's on the Calves? Because J.D. Oh, because, because, no, no, no. Crunch, because crunch, the Celtics crunch, won't, the Cel- crunch will not rest until he can thoroughly bury LeBron. Until he can find every place to abuse LeBron, we cannot I was saying the shift. No, no, no. I was saying the shift actually happened to me when LeBron made his move because. Remember, the Celtics team kind of reminds me of kind of like what Hakeem Olajuwon and them did in the 90s when you're at the end of your prime, you're trying to hurry up and squeeze a championship out. LeBron did in his prime. These guys nowadays were in their prime, bro. These guys are in their 20s when they're trying to team up. Even now, you're talking about, oh, who should Lika, who should uh go to Lucas' team and who should Zion team up with? Like, bro, guys Man, back in the day didn't do that. Until they got okay, older. I like that you point. Want, you, want, you, want, you want everybody to be like, y'all, y'all was just talking about how damn – uh, Damn Lillard needs to leave Portland. Damn needs to leave Portland. But now, if he go team up, y'all gonna do this. Y'all gonna no, do I'm not, this. No, no, no. Right now. 
Notice it was, I'm telling you, KG, notice, KG notice, was, just, notice, KG notice, was the Celtics. Hold on, notice he I didn't was say miserable in Minnesota. Hold on, notice I didn't you know say much about Dame. Paul Pierce was miserable listen, in Boston. Listen, they linked listen, up and they no, had listen, a listen, listen, listen. Y'all should be happy for No, listen, 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 y'all. Listen, listen, I am happy. I'm very happy for those guys. But notice I didn't say much about Dame because I was going to ask you, do you think Dame should leave or should a player come to his team? Because it's kind of a difference. But... This is the but thing, bro. Players? We're not – no, but this is the thing. But then the player, if he goes to Dayton, you're going to just say – LeBron is the only one out of all of these guys, though, that teamed up, that we're, that people call him the greatest, though. So now, I'm not – y'all say I'm holding him to a standard. No, no, no. They're calling him the greatest player of all time, bro. Do y'all understand that? So now you have to think about – He is. Yeah, but it's, the people, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I don't think he is, but I don't think there's nothing wrong with saying that. No, it's not wrong with it. I'm just saying – If you watched the man play since 2003 like I did – you wouldn't understand why people say that. Like, it's, not, it's not. It's not. Like, it's not like. It's not like someone says, "Oh, Bron's the goat," and you're gonna be like, "Oh shit." No, I'm just pointing out the separators, bro, and I'm just pointing out the separators between him and Jordan, bro. That's all. But we're not yeah, talking about him and Jordan. <laughs> we're not talking about no, boss, boss. We're not talking about him and Jordan, though. We're not. That's where I'm coming from. No, it's fine. It's fine. But we're not talking about him. So it goes back. So it goes back to the question that JD asked: When was the shift, bro? Oh, okay, let's stay I there. Think... Wait, wait. I yeah, want to answer that question. Stay, yeah. I want to stay there because right, I go, wanted go, go, to go. answer this for a very long time. Go ahead, go ahead, all right. Go ahead. So... Yo, you know those mazes where it's like all the doors, and then sometimes the door will just lead into the the room yeah. that you have to turn around and go back. Oh yeah, yeah. Rabbit, yeah. yo, the so, rabbit so, holes, bro. Yeah, you fix the rabbit holes. I've, I've seen it. You the rabbit digging the holes, bro. The rabbit digging the. <laughs> but hold up. But so I want to answer your question, right? So. Boston, I think you could say Boston and Miami like kind of started it. But I think what really sealed the deal was KD joining the uh, Warriors. I think that's really what sealed the deal and changed the dynamic of the NBA where it's like. So you're saying it's it's kind of a a domino effect of like, okay, it kind of starts here. But it's like when when Boston teams up, it's like, okay, they're kind of near the tail end. So it's like, okay, I see what's going on here. This isn't like Crunch said, which I actually Mm -hmm. liked that point was LeBron did it in his prime. These guys Mm -hmm. are doing it more at the tail end. Okay, I get it. Boom, LeBron does it in his prime. And then KD. Nobody else was doing it. KD's Nobody else at the did it but LeBron. Top of his and then game. KD, yep. KD joining a well old machine like the Golden State Warriors just put the nail on the call. Now and the system's like, you know broken. What? Now, you know what? Now, now everyone, we're just going to sit here and yeah. we're just going to sit here and just team up. Because remember, after that, that was PG, Melo, and Rush. Yep. And then um, Kawhi, uh, I mean, uh, Harden and CP3, and then and then Kawhi and PG, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Well, the CP3 and Harden wasn't too bad, actually. I, I think that was like a... See, I'm, I'm fine with two guys linking. Like, I, two guys linking is fine. It's that three-headed monster that's like, ah, this is... We support everything <laughs> around the hard JD. What? Listen, I, what'd you say? What'd you say, Louis? We support everything here, players. We support everything in players' choice. <laughs> okay, my bad. And we support, our, our... And we support our women. But anyways, <laughs> I want to say, oh after 2017, just look. <laughs> After 2017, look how many guys were just jumping from team to team to team to team. That wasn't happening after LeBron. Everyone still was, like, criticizing LeBron James, criticizing Dwayne Wade. Nobody was really doing that. But once KD, that was it. Yeah. Everybody started shifting teams. Everybody started talking about teaming up. And then it was I think, over. I think Kyrie Harden and KD was the worst, man, especially because they failed ultimately. So you kind of can't forget about what they tried to do. But that much scoring, uh, scoring firepower on one team was insanity, bro. And I'm a Kyrie right. fan, but even I, no even I thought that was kind of like, that was cheesy, man. Hey.